What's going on guys? It's Neil Bauman here with Parrot Key. Today I'm going to bring you some uh, little wisdom on what tablet to use in the field. There's iPads, there's Samsung, there's uh, I don't know a lot, of, a lot of tablets, but anyways, I use the iPad. Uh, now it's just kind of your preference on which one you want to go with, the 11 inch or the 12.9. I'm going to tell you two differences because I have both. These are both uh, the pro versions. This 12.9 is the brand new one that just came out, I think a couple months ago, uh, not even. Uh, this other one is the 2021 version. This is the one that I've been using the most. Let me just start by saying it is key that you have the multi-cameras. Whatever tablet, iPad you get, if you do not have is it two, three cameras back here, uh, switch your tablet. Do not, the Samsung ones, they really haven't, um, from what I've seen, I haven't seen cameras that are like this. And just the operating system in itself. I went to an Xactimate mobile training uh, at NACA in January. Uh, this was like a couple months ago. And uh, he said the same thing. He said just the Apple products, the iPad, is just, it's superior to everything else. So when I heard, I didn't even know it came out. I heard the new iPad came out. I was like, oh man, let me check it out. So I ordered one right away. Got the 12.9. I was like, I'm going to go bigger this time. I used it in the field for about maybe a day, two days. And I just came to the conclusion that this thing is just too big. And now I have... I get these uh, magic keyboards just to be able to uh, easily, like when I'm working on a file at night, I can prop it over here on the side here and just work on my file, refer to my photos, things like that. So I really do recommend the magic keyboard. It's about 200, 300 bucks, but it's worth it. Um, you're going to need these cases. I just got to show you example to prove to you that I used them both in the field. Uh, this is uh, for the smaller one, the 11 inch. This is the one I'm using now. Uh, the brand, if you guys need help with cases, that's on my website. If you click on that, it will take you to an Amazon link that will allow you to purchase. These are like 30 bucks. Here's the bigger one. Again, as long as you have a strap with a back hand strap in the back, this one swivels, which I really like. When I'm in the field, I'm just spinning this thing. <laughs> but like I said, I used this for a bit and it was just too big. This thing is freaking heavy. Now, if you if you start just starting off and you haven't used this process before, if you go straight to the 12.9, it might be good for you, but be prepared for a workout. And when I'm in the field, like doing my thing, like when I, I, I take my pictures right my estimate, and then I like to swing this around when I'm like going on a roof, whatever I'm about to do, uh, climb into an attic, uh, crawl space, whatever it is, I just found this to be easier, not banging across your chest, because this thing is, it's big. And also, when you're doing roof pitches, you're trying to get into tight corners or, you know, say a, a toilet uh, leaked and it damaged the drywall behind the toilet. Sometimes that toilet is like, you know, 10, 12 inches away from the freaking vanity and you can't get your tablet in there. You're looking ridiculous trying to butt your 12.9 inch tablet in there. So I think that this is just way better. It's quicker. It's easier. Um, going back from the 12.9 to the 11 inch, I was like, oh my gosh, I got to pick it up and I feel like I'm throw my arm through the ceiling it's so light now so i definitely uh, recommend the 11 inch pro version ipad it can be the 2023 the brand new one or it could be the 2021 these are the the 2021 pro i think is the first tablet that like allowed me to use exactment mobile everything before that i even got the ipad version before this one and i stopped using mobile for about six seven months until technology caught up I heard this was coming out, I heard the better camera was coming out, I heard the M1 chip was going to be in it, so I, I swung at it and it changed my life, literally. I mean, look what I'm doing now, I'm teaching Xactimate Mobile because I believe in it so much. Um, the 12.9, like I said, it's, it's, it's great. Uh, the new 2023 models, I will say, I love the operating system with the M2 chip. I'm going to, storm season is literally two weeks away, it's the 20th, uh, I'm shooting this on 520. And um, when a uh, storm season comes in a couple weeks here, I'm probably going to purchase the 11 inch 2023 uh, just because I like the speed a little more. The flow on that was just so freaking nice. But uh, when I switched back to this after doing that little trial with that for a couple days, like I told you guys about, I mean, I was fine with this. I only had one time that this system crashed on me, the 11 inch, and that was writing a church file. It was in Louisiana. 
and the estimate was at about 2.1 million dollars when it crashed on me rightfully so i was ready to crash myself it was about seven hours into the inspection slash estimate and uh, me and my partner uh, Armand, we were exhausted. So, so was the device. But again, I, I've only ran in that situation one time. I do think that this device would have powered through that church. And if I get another church file like that ever again, please, <laughs> I'll take this in the field, I think, and just kind of deal with it. Because it's, I love the bigger screen for sure, but I just don't think it's ideal for what most of us do. If you're doing commercial files and doing big jobs like that, um, you probably could afford both. <laughs> Let's just be honest about it. So get both. I mean, you get in those situations. But just for starting out, guys, I totally recommend the 2021 iPad 11 inch. Get the Pro. If it doesn't have the three cameras, you're messing up. You failed. Send it back. Get the other one. Don't even try with the regular camera. You take the picture and it looks like you're right up on it. Like this, it's crazy, it's ridiculous. So you have to take like six or seven overviews when if you had the 0.5, you can get away with one or two, three overviews. I encourage all my guys to take four. I don't care what camera they have. I just like that detail. It helps the estimators out understanding what's going on in the room. So be more efficient, uh, go with the 11 inch. I think now they're only running about 600, 700 bucks. Get the cell phone service on your tablet oh my gosh i can't stress that enough it's gonna pay for itself but having that in the field to be able to pull down files pull down information uh get into exact analysis whatever you have to do um, it's incredible i still recommend downloading the files prior to going out in the field when i was in a hurricane situation hurricane ian this thing was giving me issues with service and uh, i even switched from verizon to t-mobile on my uh, iPad service just to better mitigate the issue because my partner Armand he's on site we're writing commercial files and he's good talking to whoever he wants to talk to and I'm on Verizon and I'm not able to do anything which uh, is frustrating because you know I loved Verizon for the longest but now I'm half and half Verizon and T-Mobile so that's pretty much it guys as long as it, it's up to you preference wise I don't like the weight it's too much 11 inch is good, especially if you don't have one yet. Start with the 11 inch 2021 Pro. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We truly appreciate you guys. We have a lot in the works that we're really excited about. We're really starting to dive into these videos a lot more. We even have a podcast that we're actually shooting uh, starting tonight, right out in my backyard here. We're gonna set up the tent, do a little round table session. Uh, we're gonna start off by introducing Armand, my partner. Um, basically just kind of helped the new adjuster. He's a brand new adjuster. He's about a year into this, but he followed my steps, followed my Xactman mobile process, and now this man is, like I said, he just bought a new truck not too long ago. He's doing good. So I'm just going to do these round table sessions, these podcasts, kind of settings, maybe once every two, three weeks. So if you guys have any questions, I'm going to set up those videos where you guys can ask your questions on there, and then I'll even answer them during uh the podcast we're not sure if we're gonna do it live i'm still kind of figuring all of this tech out i got the gopros the mics and everything i've been dropping a fortune on this but it's all good money invested and we're really excited to bring it all to you guys uh like i said we appreciate you guys please like and subscribe to our channel if you want to see the tool list anything like that head over to uh, parakey.us that's our website you can find all the tools affiliate links for every different products and stuff like that that you guys can get the straps the ipads uh, roof gauges pitch gauges all that stuff so again we appreciate you guys so much we're kicking this into high gear and we're going to bring you guys a lot more content stay tuned my friends